Okay, so in today's segment, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of weird stuff, and I have not actually tested any of it, really, so I'm just going to kind of hope that it all works out well. And right now, I need a Wurmple, but it has to be a female one, so let me shuffle around until I find one of those. This one will do nicely. And chuck balls at it until I catch it. There we go. Yes, I have not caught a Wurmple yet. So, I'm gonna go stick this Wurmple in the daycare, and I picked out a little partner for it as well, just out of the Pokémon that I already had caught. So, they're gonna stay there for a while. In the meantime, I'm gonna go try out some funky stuff, so... Let me go to Moss Deep, and I'm gonna need my uh, old pal Whale Lord here to help me dive. I assume it still knows dive. Okay, it does. This is good. And let's see if I can get this trick to work. Basically, I just kind of went on Bulbapedia to verify that the one glitch I wanted to test out is in fact going to work. And then I found a few other glitches, so I feel like trying those out as well. And one glitch that I did want to try in a prior recording, um did not work. It involved Sticky Hold. Apparently that's only possible in Ruby and Sapphire. I don't really know for sure. But anyway, here is a... Okay, this should do nicely. Now apparently, if you time it correctly, you can, uh, you can dive in a doorway. Oh, there we go. Okay. So you can surface while in the doorway, and uh, be stuck in a rock, and now you can do this. Fun times are had by all. And yes, you still get into wild encounters. So some repels might be nice here. I'm just going to have a nice little walk around on the ocean and see what I might run into here. Biking on the ocean works also. No, this is not using a walkthrough walls code, I will prove it. See? No codes, not even the ones from last time. You can try it yourself. It'll be a family day. Get out of my way. So, anyway, I'm interested to see what the currents are going to do, so assuming I can get past Pacific Log without, like, having to hit land, that would be nice. Uh, can we go around this place? Okay, looks like we can. Maybe. Um, yep, there we go. So, how are these gonna work? Okay, they do automatically carry you. I wasn't sure if they would or not. And, uh... We have reached... a bit of a conundrum here, because the game does not like to let you surface. So, I guess I'm just kind of stuck in this spot, unless I use Fly. So, if I did not have Fly, I would be somewhat screwed. Luckily, I do. So, let's go back here, then. And see if we have an egg yet. And evidently, we do not. So, I will waste time until I do. Because I don't really know what other glitches there are to try out. The one I was going to do was... If you... KO a Pokémon with Sticky Hold with Thief. Like, you use Thief on the thing that has Sticky Hold while it's holding an item, and then if it if you KO it, it apparently just stays on the screen or something. Okay, they are gonna make an egg, right? Yeah, they're fine. They don't like each other much, but that means they're still gonna make an egg. Which is confusing, but it's been that way since Gen 2, so... I hate it when people ask, like, oh, let me go, why won't they make an egg? It's like, they will, they just... It's gonna take a while. Are you ready? Okay. So, here we go. Let's, uh... Actually, no. Uh, wait. Yeah, I'll take the egg. But I don't want it to get too many steps yet. So, go ahead and deposit it right now. I can keep the other two in the PC, they'll just or in the daycare, I don't really care what they do in there. So, egg stays there. And let's, uh, go take a trip to 
Victory Road, because why the hell not? And there's Wally. I hope he doesn't fight me. And I do have an actual agenda here. Don't I'm not just doing random things, but I don't want to explain too much of it, because it's much more fun to just have the audience be completely confused until something happens. Come on, do something. Okay, maybe I need to find a female Pokemon and then do that. And of course, everything that I find will now be male. Come on. Come on, game. Come on, game. Oh my god. Really? Really? Okay, finally. I knew eventually it would have to happen. Okay, come on. There we go. That's all I wanted was to get it low HP. It wasn't really that hard. Now, if I can get to even lower HP, that would be also be nice. So, lowered level Pokemon. Attack me or something. Maybe this is too low. Maybe I should have edited all this out, but I'm not going to because I'm too lazy. Almost there, come on. Just a little bit more. Okay, that will do very well. So, now that I have wasted a sufficient amount of time, um, I don't know why I went to Mauville when this was perfectly sufficient. I was thinking I had to go back to the daycare, but I don't. Okay, so. Don't you need- I don't need you anymore. And I don't need you anymore. But I do need you. So, let's... Have a fun walk with this egg. And, uh... For no real reason, let's just go ahead and use a Poem Egg Berry here. And let's see what that's gonna do. Stuff. All right, so whatever. Turns out I find a shiny or something. Nah, this will do well. All right, go egg. See how well this egg does in battle. And no, I absolutely t refuse to explain what is going on here. That's part of the fun. Wait, what? What? No, that's not a good prize. How much money did I lose? Not that I know how much money I had before. So yeah, I still have a lot of money, but okay, that was kind of lame. Um, I should probably, like, reset and do something about that. Okay, I think I might almost kind of have this glitch figured out, but not really. Uh, it seems to work when it wants to. But anyway, to actually explain what's going on here, you want to get a Pokémon with with some EVs in its HP, whether it's through HP ups or through regular battling or whatever, get it down to really low HP, feed it a Pomeg Berry, and it should go down by two. Before, since I was at, at, at I was at two HP, it brought it down to zero. Here, I'm bringing it to negative one, which the game reads as question mark 35. So when I do this, um. I will still have that amount of HP, and it's still, it still, it like thinks that it's full. But then if you, if you do something to heal that, since it is still technically negative one HP, that'll bring you to zero. Now, sometimes this will let you fight with the egg, sometimes it won't. I really don't know why. Like. Sometimes I'll put this egg in the front of the team, and it still won't make a difference. Like, okay, this time it actually worked. Now, since it does that thing where, um, the battle basically ends if you take too long, because it finally realizes that you have no Pokémon to fight with, you, uh, since it does that, you're gonna want to actually revive it, so you have to hope that the enemy does something stupid. That's kind of what I'm hoping for here. If it doesn't, I'm going to have to use a lot of save state abuse. 
Let me save state right now. It's probably locked into its attack already, but let's find out. Okay, so, yeah, it did that. Let's see if it'll ever... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the game already decided it's gonna use wing attack every time, so... That's not gonna work. But basically my goal here is to gain experience with the egg. Because then that leads to very funky things. So, let's get the Pomeg thing to work. Go down. And now, let me heal. And this time I'll put the egg in front and see if it actually works to begin with. I'll make a second save state here. And is it gonna work? Okay. I don't know why. Sometimes it just doesn't work. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I don't know. So, revive it. Hope that it uses some stat up move or something. I was hoping for Howl. I think all you can really do is hope at this point. And I have thought about fighting uh, Wild Smeargles before, and I remember it like not being that great of an idea for some reason. Because they'll fail. Okay, there we go. Now, switch to you. KO it. And let's see what happens. Grew to level 6. Grew to level 7. Okay, cool. That was really all I needed it to do. Yes, the egg is evolving. This glitch is amazing. <laughs> so basically, I now have a Silcoon in an egg. Egg learned Harden. Um, it's kind of weird that it actually looks like an egg, but that's beside the point. If I want to level up this egg some more, I can, but I have to keep doing the Pomeg glitch every time to get into negative HP and all that junk, so it takes a lot of berries, it takes a lot of patience, I'm not going to do it all, so that's why I'm using Wurmple, because it evolves at a really low level and it can show this off. So, let's uh, fly to somewhere with a lot of biking space. Let me actually see if I have a Pokemon with, like, Flame Body or something. I don't think I do. White Smoke. Yeah, White Smoke. Um, yeah, how about you? Really hard. How about you? No, not really. Um, so whatever, let's, uh, just waste a bunch of time here. I don't ha even have to show this on camera, because I'm sure you can all assume what's going to happen anyway. But... I'd like to show it just for the purpose of being thorough. So, anyway, yeah, this glitch can be used to level up Pokémon inside eggs. They can learn moves, they can evolve, they can do anything that regular Pokémon do, but then when they hatch, they'll hatch, like, at level 5, as you'll find out soon. So basically, if you have the patience for it, you can do this to get pretty much any Pokemon that evolves through level up, but at level 5. So, like, you could have a level 5 Charizard, but to do that, you'd have to keep doing the Pomeg trick so many times to, like, actually get that much experience that, like, my god, that would take way too much, way too much effort. So, here we have an egg hatching into a Pokemon that it should not be able to do. And fun times were had at all. Were had by all. Um, I, I don't know what to call you. You're a male, so I can't name you. I can't name you Vanellope. So whatever. I'm not gonna name you. So yep, level five. I mean, you can get level five Silcoons in the wild probably anyway. But yep, that's it for the Pomag glitch. Um, is there anything else I can show off? Because there's not that many other glitches. There is. Uh, Something really stupid with the uh, with Focus Punch, it, it's not worth showing off or even really mentioning. And since I already said I couldn't get the, uh, what was it, the uh, Sticky Hold glitch to work out, I'm not going to worry too much about that one. So let me go down and uh, do some more funky stuff with the ocean, because I think there is another glitch that can come out of this. It's probably not very interesting, but I'm going to try it nonetheless. I think this might be, like, almost frame-perfect to do. I'm not sure of the timing. Okay, there we go. So, do you want to do use dive? No, but it doesn't put you in the door. So you save, and reset, and...
and the game automatically moves you into the wall. So you are basically stranded. Oh, okay, wait, you can go down. Never mind. Now, let me try something else here. Okay, stuck in the wall. Saving. Resetting. Is it going to move you again? No, it's not. Oh well. So yeah, you can get out by diving then, and then you can be stuck in a rock and do all sorts of excellent things, and... and I think that's about it. Um, the only other major glitch that I can think of in this game would be the uh, cloning glitch, which I've already showed off, and it has led to wonderful results, such as uh, me carelessly wasting Master Balls on anything that I find. So, yeah, I guess that's it for this one, and uh, the only things I can really think of left to do in this game would be certain rematches, and uh, one other certain boss hidden away in a cave somewhere that is probably going to be way too high level for me to take down, but I'm going to try my best anyway, and then I think that's going to be the end of this LP, so let's just uh, stand in the middle of the ocean and not accomplish anything. Sounds like a plan. See you next time. Okay, actually I remembered there are a couple other glitches we can do here. Hello, CDOT. You are actually very rare, but oh well. Uh, yeah, let's see what we can get to happen here. No, I don't want sweet scent. There we go. This should be fun. How long will it go? I honestly don't know if this will ever end, actually. Since I think I have, like, over 60,000 HP, I'm not totally sure. But, yeah, you can do that forever, or there is another thing you can do. Let me find another Oddish. Not an Illumise! I hate that so much. Okay, here we go. Oddish, and, uh, use an Orenberry and hope that Oddish does what I want it to do. Okay, not Sweet Scent. Uh, gotta get the HP... Okay, there's the HP bar. Now, why am I invisible? Ah! Yay. It did it. <laughs> I have no idea why that just happened, but it was amazing. Let's see if it does it again. Yay! Oh, Pomeg Glitch. You make so little sense. But anyway, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Okay, hopefully I can actually get this captured correctly. This is the weird taboo game for NES, and it's glitching out. And when you power it on... Is it going to do it this time? Probably not. Let's just keep trying. Yeah. This is not a game, it says. Yeah. It's what the crap? But it, it doesn't, like, when it's not glitched out, it doesn't say that anywhere on the title screen. Like, this is, like, the weirdest thing. Well, this whole this whole game is freaking messed up. But yeah, here's, like, the title screen. Where does it say anywhere this is not a game? It only does it when you reset. Yeah. Like, or, or when it glitches out. Yeah, see, that's like, not glitched out. It's, and it says nowhere under, this is not a game. What the shit? That's creepy. That is freaking Especially creepy. Especially since this is, like, yeah. the dumbest thing ever made anyway, and it's supposedly, like, it can read minds. And I, I don't know, it's really dumb, but that, that one part made it worth it. Yeah. So, yeah. Don't ever get this game, because <laughs> it isn't a game. And it will tell you this, if it, <laughs> if it decides to.